The National English Literary Museum is the first screen museum in South Africa, costing 127 million rand. It was funded by the Department of Arts and Culture, but with such a large amount of money being spent, it sparked conversations around the exclusion of African languages. Of those individuals is Professor Pamela Maseko, who speaks about her frustration of the museum's exclusivity to South African English works. I had personally gone to now and and um, asking them whether they would consider building up an archive um, of African language literary works. What I was told then um, was that the, the, the mandate of the museum was to preserve only texts written in English. On the 18th of May, the museum held its first event in its new building and the event was kicked off by an Isit Klasa poet who set the tone for the rest of the evening. I think this is the very first event, public event that's taking place here, so we're literally baptizing it tonight. Give it up for yourselves. And a little bird whispered to me earlier that it's soon to be the National Literature Museum. Which is wonderful, which is wonderful. We're not saying George must fall, but George must shake. <laughs> when the Department of Arts and Culture and the Department of Public Works approached us in 2010 to start the planning process for our new building, it was a, an opportune time to plan the building so that it could accommodate the other indigenous languages. It's taken a while for the Minister of Arts and Culture to actually make the announcement, but we look forward to it. It's very exciting, and during the course of this year, the process will move forward, no doubt. Well, what Minister Mtetwa has said is just about two weeks ago in his budget vote speech, he announced that the mandate of this National English Literary Museum, where we at, would be extended to other South African languages as well. He said that it's very important that as we capture, as we collect, as we analyze the literary heritage of this country, that it should not be restricted to only what is written in English. Special guest Professor Zaik Sundar speaks about the importance of preserving works written in African languages. Well, first of all, um, the, the whole notion that... Um, this was only for English literature. What well, was rather absurd, you know, because it privileges uh, the writing in English over all the other literatures that exist in this country. And that marks the end of the first event in the new building of the National English Literary Museum as the building is still under construction. But in the meantime, members of the public can look forward to African languages being introduced into the museum as well as the possibility of a name change. I'm Tingolwenko Sazanem Tombeni signing off from Grahamstown.